What's up folks, my name is Felix, welcome back to today's video. This will be the basic video for all our node setups because today we want to dig into how you can set up a VPS and run crypto nodes through it and farm airdrops with it. This is a task which was highly demanded by the community. I asked if I should record some kind of a tutorial and the majority said yes, they please want to have a guide here as you can see in the comments in my latest airdrop farming update video. That's why I decided to do the series. Today we're going to do the basics, so how you set up a VPS and again tomorrow probably I will release the first node setup guide with a very easy one. And I don't want to raise any expectations here for huge huge airdrops but the past showed that the majority of people is shying away from this kind of task for airdrop farming because they don't have the technical knowledge or they're just too lazy to do it or for some other reasons and that's why in my opinion it's a good niche opportunity here which i want to take advantage of so i want to keep this one short and precise that's why we want to dive right into it so the platform i chose for this vps setup guide is contabo i'm using this myself this is a company here in germany they have very low prices for their vpss and they are available all over the world the first thing you want to do if you come on contabo you want to go to vps and click on cloud vps and i for example currently run the cloud vps tool if you just get started and just want to try things out just go with the cloud vps one there is not that much ram and cpu but it should be enough for one or two nodes to run them on there of course some nodes have higher requirements which you can't run on there but I think to start all this to get some experience the first one is also good. The setup is completely the same if you choose VPS1 or VPS2. That's why I'm going to show it now with VPS2. So you just click on select down here and then you will let over to this page where you can configure your VPS. To mention that here taxes are not already included in those prices so taxes come on top. If you run your VPS for several months I usually do the 12 month term then it's much cheaper because you don't have to pay the setup fee and I don't want to renew the subscription here every single month because my nodes run anyway because I want to earn daily rewards with for example my Xi node or all the other ones I've currently running and usually if you're running a node for a testnet you should do that for at least 6 to 12 months to see any rewards in the end because it might be if you're just running it for a month that you are not in the snapshot period for region in this case we just choose the european union with the best latency then i always choose the biggest storage type in this case 400 gb ssd which is free and then we want to come to image in this case we choose ubuntu and you always go for the newest version so in this case it's ubuntu 22.04 so we choose this one then you want to make sure that you generate a password which you remember because we need it later on to log into our server. Username is always rooty in this case. All the other points here are not worth mentioning. Just leave them like they are and then we can come over to the next step. There you just make your payment. What they offer here is for example American Express, MasterCard, Visa and PayPal. You pay for the service and then it takes from my experience around 15 to 30 minutes until you get all the details per email where you get your login data as well as the VPS IP that you can start. And while we are waiting for our data we need two more tools to set everything up here. First thing is PuTTY. We need that to log into our server. Here is the Windows version. It's also available for Mac, for example. I'm not used to Mac. I'm just using Windows. So you should search for a Mac version here for yourself. Then you download the version which applies best to your device. And in the end, it should look like this. So this should be the end window after you went through the installation guide. And the second tool which we need in combination with PuTTY is the PuTTY key generator because we need to generate a key to safely log into our server. So you also want to download the version which applies to your device. So we have Windows, Linux and Mac. And once you did that, our window should look like this here. What you then want to do is open the PuTTY key generator and we now want to generate a key. That's why you want to click on generate here in this window and then you see this bar and if you move your mouse in the field below this bar should load and once this is completed you will see your public key as well as your private key as it is with your crypto wallet for example then you also want to choose a password here and save your public key as well as your private key in a folder on your computer because we need that to log in in a few moments 
Then after you received all your data from the email from Contabo, you can log in with your username and also your password, which you receive per mail. And then you can just click on your services, which should be in your login area here. And the only thing we need from here is this new generated IP address, which leads us over to our VPS. So you just copy this IP address here and then you open up Paddy again. What we want to do here now is just pasting in our IP address. We just copied from Contabo. Then you want to make sure port is at 22, which should be the standard and you choose connection type SSH. Then you can, for example, save this data that when you log in next time, you don't have to copy and paste this IP address again from Contabo. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on SSH and extend this here. Then you want to go to Authenticator, also extend this here, and you want to click on Credentials. And then you click on Browse and search for the key we just generated with the Putty Key Generator. You need the private key here in this case. So you just add it in here and then we click on Open, which should give you this field here. Make this a little bit bigger. And what we want to do here is now logging into our server. So our username was again root. That's the same for every one of us. You just click on enter and then it asks you for your password, which you set up before when we were configuring our VPS. So not the password you set up for your party key generator. No, we need the password for our VPS. So you just type in the password here. And if you typed in your password correctly, it should show you this command. And that's where we're going to start setting up our nodes in the next video. So that's it. That's all the steps which are required to setting up our nodes in the future. If you have questions, drop them below this video. To mention that here, I'm not an expert. I also teach that all to myself. Best way would be to jump into our community Telegram group. And I'm sure there are a few people which can help you out with several issues you might have along the way. So if you don't want to miss out on those node setup videos in the upcoming days and weeks, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I release videos here on a daily basis. If you like today's one, feel free to hit the like button as well. And then we'll meet the next one. See you then.